What's up guys? Hey, so we are seeing a changing of the guard and it's sometimes we don't get these. Sometimes a guy retires on top and they rob us of that. But Jet has definitely, he hasn't had the torch passed. He has taken that torch and it's something beautiful to watch. I gotta say, is Tomac retiring? I got some info on that. And remember guys, if you haven't subscribed, it definitely helps the channel. I would appreciate it. And also double check, make sure you're still subscribed. For some reason, people are getting unsubscribed without them doing it. So if you wanna just double check that, I would appreciate it. All right, thanks guys, let's get into this thing. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. So Jet this year has reminded me of the 2001 Ricky Carmichael. If you guys remember, he came into that season and he, he just had a different look to him. McGrath was the king. So Jet Lawrence is having one of those seasons that we have that we always remember. Ricky Carmichael finally took down McGrath. McGrath had been the king forever. Yes, I know Emig snuck one in there, but it was because McGrath changed teams. He had a flat tire. He had all sorts of weird things happen and he still had a shot heading into the final round. But, you know, Emig did get that, but he didn't really dethrone him. Everybody still knew McGrath was the guy. McGrath was the favorite. And when he, you know, in 2001, he was still the favorite. We knew Ricky was going to be tough, but we thought, okay, well, he's fin he's fend off Lusk and Emig and all these different guys. He'll also be able to fend off this young red-haired kid who doesn't ride Supercross that well. Unfortunately, Ricky came in with just a different attitude. And I remember watching Ricky win the Phoenix Supercross in 2001, and just turned the bike upside down and I watched the body language on McGrath. I didn't know he'd never win again, but I definitely knew Ricky was for real at that point. I mean, he ripped off 14 straight races to finish off that season. That's one of the greatest seasons of all time. We're looking at something similar to that with Jet Lawrence right now. This season started off super competitive. We had different guys winning. We had mud races. We had Jet in controversy. He has overcome all of that. The helmet pulling incident, triple crowns, Daytona, all the things that we said, okay, well, can he get past this? Can he get past this? Guess what? He's passed all of them and he's won three in a row. Now he's on a real roll. He might win out. He might win the rest of these races. I would not be shocked. He's the only guy. I mean, he, the other guys know at this point, if they don't, if something hap doesn't happen to him, they're not winning. He just has them covered on a good track on a good night. Eli Tomac, People have been trying to retire him since 2018. Coach Rob and Hopper and I, we've had this debate on when he was gonna retire for a long time. I always said, no, I think Eli is gonna stick around for a long time. And if you listen to Eli, he's always said, I will stick around as long as I'm competitive, as long as I think I can win. I don't think he thinks that anymore. I think after that performance last week and also getting beat at Daytona, I'm not sure Eli believes he's the guy anymore. And I also know he didn't want to go out on that Achilles injury. He might have walked away on top, but I have so much more respect for him that he's coming back. I don't like when guys leave, take the ball and go home when they're winning. I watch pro wrestling. If you ever want to find out the entertainment value of stuff, watch pro wrestling. They'll teach you everything you need to know about crowds, championships, and they never let their main championship just be retired. That guy always has to be beat because if a guy that takes the title and goes home, the next guy, it's kind of hollow. Like when Dungey took over after Villapoto, we all said, if you guys remember those titles, so many people said, well, it's only because Villapoto retired. And that sucks, that's not fair, but it might be true. So when somebody sticks around long enough to, to have that torch taken from them and not pass it, the torch is not meant to be passed, it's meant to be taken. Carmichael took it from McGrath. Right now, Jet is taking it from Tomac, Webb, and all of them. Like he's, he's clearly just becoming the man. So when you see that, it's something special. And we kind of got robbed of that for a little while with Carmichael just walking away right when Stewart was about to take the torch. Eh, we all kind of knew that was happening, so it didn't hit as bad. That one didn't sting as bad because we still had Reed and Stewart, and we kind of knew Stewart was taking it, and he had beaten Ricky, and it looked like it was going to be inevitable. So when Ricky walked away, we're like, eh, you know, it didn't leave as big a hole as when Villapoto retired. When Villapoto left, it really, it, it was just like the, the prime champion at 26 years old just walking away. But to see Tomac stick around long enough to have that torch taken, hats off. With that said, I'm gonna take him at his word. He said when he doesn't think he can win anymore, he will retire. 
I believe that's this year. I think this will be his last year, and I want to pay respect to the champ himself, Eli Tomac, the second winningest rider in Supercross, a complete badass. I don't want to take anything away from him. I actually want to give him more credit for coming back and, and taking on the kid and fighting, meeting that challenge. Even though he's getting beat, he's older. I, I respect the hell out of that. Guys, amateur racing can be a nightmare. Head over to Coach Rob. He's got a show navigating amateur racing. If you're an amateur racer and you need some help, go check out the Coach Rob podcast on navigating amateur motocross. Epic Garage Designs. They have the coolest things for your garage, your pit, anything you need to be organized. Hit up epicgaragedesigns.com. So we are about to see a generation of 450 riders. I can't remember the last time we've had this many guys at the same age that are about to walk away within a two or three, two or three year span. We've got Anderson, Roxon, Webb, Stewart, AC, which his is being forced, and Christian Craig. There's a lot of guys that are gonna be vacating spots on 450s. So who's gonna step up? Who are gonna be the next generation of guys? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think Roxon's going anywhere anytime soon. That guy looks comfortable. I think Roxon's gonna stick around. I think he he's gonna be the Mike LaRocco type. He's settled in, or Wyndham, where you just hang around until they're happy getting podiums, where I don't think Tomac is. I think Tomac wants to win, or he wants to go live on his farm. Roxon, he's okay. He's okay taking a win when it's available, and you know, taking the wins kind of like how Brock Glover got his last Supercross win in LA, where everybody crashed in the first turn, how LaRocco got his last one. I think Roxon will stick around and get a couple more of those. He's gonna take them when he can, but I think he's gonna hang around for three, four, five more years. Webb, I see Webb hanging around and Anderson trying to get some podiums. I see about two or three more years out of those guys, but that's gonna leave a big vacancy in that 450 class. Jet's gonna have a whole new generation of competition to tackle, a lot more his age, um, which is kind of weird to think of Jet will be the guy, and then you got guys like Justin Cooper, who's also a rookie this year with him, his brother Hunter, who's, you know, these guys are all older than Jet, but they're gonna be the ones trying to give him a run in the next two or three years before we get the Hayden Deegans, the Levi Kitchens, Joe Schmodas, and those guys to move up. Then there's a few guys that are probably gonna be out this year if they're not paying, if they're not comfortable. I think Stewart will go one more year at least. AC, rumor is his arm's going numb. I, he, I'm praying he takes over the announcing duties from Carmichael, because AC is perfect for that role. He's humble, he can speak. He studies the sport. He puts in the work. AC, listen, he might retire, but he, I sure hope he doesn't go anywhere. Unfortunately, Christian Craig's in a similar situation, and it's just been atrocious since he went to that Husqvarna 450 team. Not all his fault. You know, the bike has struggled a little bit. His body has struggled. He's got that nasty elbow. And when you're on the wrong side of 30, those things don't heal as quick, and they create issues. So this might be it for Craig, too. Um, but he's a great guy, and... Uh, I don't know, I hope he sticks around the sport too. Guys, if you need goggles, you need glasses, or a cool shirt, hit up ridestrap.com. They have the coolest stuff. And also, if you're shipping anything using a truck, hit up Precision Transport. That's pretransport.com. They have customer service, good pricing, and they're just great people, family-owned business. It's gonna be really, really important for KTM and Sexton to figure it out and find some speed to compete with Jet or this is gonna get real boring real fast. And I don't mean that in the sense of it's not amazing to watch greatness, but when you wanna talk about who's gonna win the race each day, it gets a little boring. So if, if Chase Sexton cannot find that speed and intensity on that KTM, we're in for a long run with Jet. Um, I think Chase has pretty much just relegated himself to, to figuring it out this year. It's gonna be super important for him to show up and challenge Jet on an equal level and find that speed that he's missing next year. Levi Kitchen and maybe very, very soon Garrett Marchbanks. I know he can ride a 450. So we have guys that are gonna step up and fill that gap when this generation leaves. But Jet's gonna, I don't see anyone there who's going to really challenge Jet. So I think we're looking at a long run. And we talk about these championships and you know the records uh, everybody's just so you know, everybody's records right now are in jeopardy. Jet is young. He's fast. We all know this sport can change in just a second. I mean, think about last year with that Achilles snap changed everything, but you know, he's got Chase Sexton still to battle and he'll be there, but man, I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for everything. The channel's killing it. 
Love you guys. And if you need a real estate agent, hit me up, chriscooksymedia at gmail.com. And if you're buying, renting, selling, I will take care of you. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.